an arpeggiator, sometimes called a gate arpeggiator, at least with the uh, Korg Chaos Pro, is a software or hardware function that turns the same note on and off in its simplest form. With its simplest form, we only have three parameters. The note that's being played, the speed or rate, and the ratio. The ratio is the amount of time that the note spends uh, on compared to off. At 10% on, ninety percent on and fifty percent on. There's a little bit of a you know, delay here, a little bit of a lag because I'm using the default software synthesizer in the laptop. I'm not using the Chaosolator Pro, which would be a, a lot more responsive. If we go to the next step, which is changing the patterns, then we have a lot more flexibility. Now, it's difficult to do something like this in a small package like the Castellator Pro, but with a computer I can have any pattern that I want. And when I introduce the pattern, when I start having multiple notes being played off one key, I have the option of changing the step size between notes. The next step in having an arpeggiator like this is to introduce a second arpeggiator, basically a modulator. Normally with an arpeggiator the note is on or off, but when you start modulating you're basically keeping a 100% ratio. The note is always on, it's just that you're using different step sizes in order to create the modulation. It doesn't really matter what the pattern is. If you want a square wave, then mm. 
A simple zero one pattern, if you play it slow enough, becomes that square wave. Now, if I change my pattern to just the same note, and then modulate it, If I want to do something a little bit more sophisticated, I could try introducing a triangle with. step is then to make the two arpeggiators independent. Right now I'm using fixed rate which I copied from the Core Key Oscillator Pro. The rate is uh, essentially just every four seconds, every two seconds, every one second, half a second, quarter second, so on. So if we go independent Using a free rate with just one arpeggiator.
and then throw in the second. when you change the voice. And, if we want to have a little bit more fun, we then break out the cotton box in order to do a little bit of filtering. And that's the arpeggiator. 